Okay, in this video we're going to look at the intersection of two sets and the union of two sets. And we'll just look at these examples on this page. Um, and if you'd like, please press pause and just take down these this table and then we'll go over the examples. Okay, so I'm just going to start with the first two sets. Set A is one. the numbers 1, 2, 3. Set B is the numbers 2, 5, 8. Oh, by the way, this set notation is just curve point like a little half a tri uh, triangle point and then another curve okay it's like a curly uh, brackets also called braces okay braces and it um, indicates that we have a this is a set of numbers in other words it's just you know the numbers one two and three and here we've got again the curly uh, brackets so uh, curve point curve curve point curve and the numbers are in this set B are two five and eight okay so um, if I this is set A is one two three set B is the number is two five eight A intersection B means um, f write down what numbers are in the where where set A intersects with set B in other words what numbers are common to both okay so one is only in set A so that doesn't work the number two is in set A and set B so that's part of A intersection B. 3 is only in A, 5 is only in B, and 8 is only in B. So A intersection B, we have the number 2, um, and I guess you could write that with set uh, notation. You don't really have to. And and so that that's what intersection means. Now union means um, list, a, make a set that includes everything from A and B without uh, writing things twice. So we would write down everything that's in A, one, two, three, that's in set A, and then also include the things from B that we haven't written down so far, like five and eight. So A union B means A and B combined, but don't write the number two twice, you see what I mean? And you can put uh, set notation there if you like, it doesn't really matter. Uh, anyway. Uh, so if set A is 9, 12, 15 and set B is 8, 12, 15, 16, see if you can figure out what A intersection B is and then A union B. Just see if you've got the idea already. So press pause and try these two. Okay, if you like. Otherwise I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now anyway. So set A is 9, 12, 15 and B is 8, 12, 15, 16. A intersection B and intersection is this symbol here. See that? That means what numbers are common to both? Common to both, okay? And uh, we can see obviously 12 is in both, right? And 15. So A intersection B is 12, 15. A union B means list all of the numbers uh, in, in each set, in both sets. And usually start with the lowest one. So if we start number eight, then we have the number nine, what next? We've got 12, we've got uh, 15, and we've got 16. Now we don't write 12 and 15 twice, just write them once, and that's A union B, okay? So please press pause and try uh, this example. If set A is that and set B is that, what's A intersection B and what's A union B? So common to both here, A intersection B is, well, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, nothing. There's nothing common to both, right? Now, nothing can be represented by this symbol. It's, it's a circle with a line through. It's also called the null or the null set, but it just means nothing. You know, not the number 0, because, you know, you could have a set where 0... Uh, is a number. So it's not the same thing as just actually the number zero. I mean nothing is not even a number. It's just absolutely nothing thing at all. So um, now try A union B would be everything in A, three, four, five, and also everything in B, six, seven, right? So press pause and try the next example. If this is A and this is B, what's A intersection B? It is whatever is common to both, and I can see A is not common to both B. Oh, C is in both of them, so C 
Anything else? No. So that is A intersection B and A union B would be A, B, C, D and also we have um, F and G, right? And we don't write C twice, just once. So that's A union B. And press pause and try this one. This is the, this is nothing, okay, the empty set or the null set and uh, this is set A, so try and get A intersection B and then get A union B. Okay, now I'll try it. What is common to this and this? A intersection B is writing down what's common to both. Um, and so let's see, well, what's common to nothing and this? Uh, the answer is nothing. Basically, because there, I mean, there is no A, B, or C over here, so we can't write down A, B, or C. Uh, if I join them together, join nothing with this, I just end up with the set A, right? So that's A U B, A union B. Now press pause and try this one. Okay, did you get it? A intersection B is what is common to both what intersects, what's common to both, and uh, what is common to both, let's see, uh, nothing, right, because we don't have 4, 5, or 9 over here, and if I join them together and get A union B, join them together I simply get uh, the set B, right? Now let's go back and just understand what the, another way to write A intersection B, you might agree that, um, if, you know, if we start this example, we had 1, 2, 3, and then 2, 5, 8, and 2 was common to both. So we're looking for things that are in A and B, okay? So intersection is the equivalent of writing the word and. We need elements or numbers or things that are in set A and set B. But with A union B, we just want a list of things that could be in A or B, right? So a union B can be represented with the, the word or, A or B, and that's how we're, it'll be seen a lot in the rest of the exercises. So intersection is the same thing as and, um, it must be something that is in this set and this set. Union, um, the, the, the uh, elements or the numbers can be in either set, A or B, right? And that's why, I mean, that so, so or means you're going to have a bigger uh, set because you just need things in, in either one whereas and of course it's more restricted because the, the, the elements like 12 and 15 they have to be in both so this is and right